Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a quick tutorial with the uh, uh, software today. Uh, it's called Affinity Photo. It's a photo editing software who's trying to compete with Photoshop. The thing is, it's only 50 bucks and there's no subscription. You heard it, um, Adobe, it's, there's no subscription and it's only 50 bucks. Okay, I'm ready to jump into this uh, for software. But uh, there's one thing though that needs to be fixed. All right, I'm gonna show you in a bit. Let's close this one. Now. Let's go to Lightroom. I have a file here um, about waterfalls. Uh, um, the scene is high dynamic. Uh, the there is an area who is too bright. And I'm shooting Sony uh, with Sony sensors. I, I don't do auto bracketing anymore. I just expose for the brightest area, like in this area here. And uh, I just fix the shadows in uh, in Lightroom. That's how good sensor the Sony sensors are. I'm sorry, Canon. Okay, uh, what I do is I increase my blacks 100%, shadows 100%, even increase my exposure a little bit, reduce my highlights, and increase my contrast. Boom, done. That's what I do. Uh, no more HDR, all right? With Affinity, let me open the same file. It also have a develop module uh, similar to Camera Raw. So I go to shadows right away. So I increase my shadows 100%. Boom, look what happened. Look how muddy it is. Okay, increase my block, reduce my block point. Mm. Reduce my highlights a bit. Increase my exposure. And increase my contrast. Boom, look what happened. Lightroom, Affinity. All right, that's the problem. I'm mainly a portrait shooter, but sometimes I also shoot landscape if uh, given a chance or if there's an opportunity. And this is not working with me. All right, guys. Affinity, if you can, please fix this and I'm ready to jump, switch to, to your software. Alright, bye guys, thank you for watching.